Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude has just launched their new 3.7 Sonnet model, which is a model that can reason, think, and do a bunch of cool stuff. And it's currently the Soda AI model on benchmarks. But they have also launched another thing with it, and it's called Claude Code. Well, what's Claude Code? Claude Code is a new tool by them that allows you to code with AI. You can start it in a repo, and it can start coding in it, which is kind of cool. If you've used Ader, then it's very much similar to that. Currently, it's in research preview, and it's limited. As I'm making this video, they are giving out seats to use it on a first-come, first-serve basis, and it's free, although you'll need to have API credits. You can get $5 free credits on their site as well. Anyway, if we talk a bit about it, they say that it is an agentic coding tool that lives in your terminal, understands your code base, and helps you code faster through natural language commands. By integrating directly with your development environment, Claude Code streamlines your workflow without requiring additional servers or complex setup. It's basically a terminal or command line interface that allows you to give it a prompt, and it can do file operations and a bunch of stuff with it, which is actually quite cool to see. The key capabilities include editing files and fixing bugs across your code base, answering questions about your code's architecture and logic, executing and fixing tests, linting, and other commands, as well as searching through Git history, resolving merge conflicts, and creating commits and PRs. Installing it is simple. You can just run this command, which will get Claude code installed for you. Then, you can get into the folder where you would like to do the operations and just run the Claude command. At first, it will ask you to sign in with your Anthropic account, and then it will get enabled. Now, let me show you how you can use it, how it works, and everything like that. So, this is the interface, and it's simple. You can send in your prompt about what you want to do, and it can do that. But before we do that, let's just have a look at what all it offers here. You have the clear option, which will clear up the conversation history and free up your context. You also have the compact option, which will remove the context but still keep a summary of that context for future reference, which is quite good. Next, we have the config option. If I open it up here, then you can see that we have the following options in it, which are verbose mode, theme, and notifications. All of them are self-explanatory. You can just hit escape to close. After that, we have the cost option, which will allow us to see the total cost of the session, which is good, because Claude is expensive. We also have Doctor, which will just check the health of your Claude code installation, and if everything is fine or not with your installation. Then you've got Help, which is just details about Claude code, and then you have Init, which will initialize a new Claude markdown file with the code base documentation which means that you'll always have proper documentation of the code base and what Claude is doing. Next, you have PR comments, which is an option to have a look at pull requests and make it work on that, which is quite good. You can also submit a bug through here. Then, you have the review option, which will review a pull request from GitHub on your behalf and will tell you if it should be merged or not which is quite cool. You also have logout and login options. Now, let's try to do something with it. So, I have this repo. It is a T3 stack one, and it's basically just one page that lets me upload a picture and then crop it as well as increase the brightness and exposure. Now, let's ask it to tell me what it thinks this project is about. Once I send in the prompt, then you can see that this works quite well. It's fast as well, which is great to see. Now, 
One thing that they recommend is that we run the init command. This will create a clawed markdown file, which will contain the details about your repo and will be a kind of documentation. When it creates a file, it will show you the diff and will ask you to approve the stuff as required, or you can also cancel it and ask Claude to do it in a different way, which is quite good to see. Now, it's done, and it did that quite well, which is great to see. Let's try to make it do some coding as well. So, this app is a T3 stack one, and it has the basic page that we get with it, which I don't want. So, let's ask it to remove that and make the image cropper the main page. This is challenging because you need to remove files, edit files, change routes, which a lot of coders struggle with. Once we send it in, you can see that it starts thinking through and reading the code files. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. So, it has now given me this diff, which looks correct. Let's just approve this here. Now, it wants to run a shell command to check the linting, which is a good touch although I'm sure that it will encounter errors here. And yes, it does. Let's see how it deals with it. So, it is now trying to fix it. Let's see if it's able to or not. And it's not able to fix it again. Okay, now it's trying to be like me and is just disabling ESLint. I like it. Claude's just like me. It just wants to disable ESLint. Anyway, it now wants to run the server. Although this is a bit controversial, because I don't think that the server should be run here, because I think that it will hang the process. And yes, it does. So, anyway, I think that it should be up on port 3000, and yes, it is here, and it did this correctly. The main page is now the cropper, and it is also correct to use. So, this is good. I have seen many coders just remove the node modules or do some stupid stuff like that. So, this is a pass. Now, one issue that I have here is that the brightness and exposure sliders don't show preview here, which is a bummer. Let's ask Claude to fix this. Now, once I sent it, it gave me a bunch of edits which I approved, and at ESLint checks, I said no to it because I don't want to waste tokens. And now it's done, and it works well in one shot. This is a complex thing to do, because you need to re-render the image. But this is cool to see. That's basically how you can use it. It works well, and you can also use the Git options that it has, like code review and stuff, which is all great. I think that this is actually quite amazing to use, and it surely gives competition to things like Ader and Klein. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.